Hello everyone, my name is John Soule, Solutions Architect with AWS. In this video, I will show how to connect to an Amazon OpenSearch serverless private API endpoint using AWS Verified Access and Postman as the API client. There are some prerequisites for the rest of the video. If you are following along with hands-on keyboard, pause the video until you launch an AWS Verified Access instance and an Amazon OpenSearch serverless collection in the same region. Then, create a VPC endpoint and set the network access policy for the OpenSearch serverless endpoint to private using the VPC endpoint. Finally, set the data access policy for the OpenSearch serverless endpoint to allow access by your IAM principle. Once the prerequisites are met, the services will be deployed as depicted in this diagram. You will have an AWS Verified Access, or AVA, instance configured with a trust provider, in this case IAM Identity Center, an AVA Hyperplane ENI, and an OpenSearch Serverless VPC endpoint in the VPC, and the OpenSearch Serverless collection hosted by AWS. OpenSearch Serverless will create a Route 53 private hosted zone that contains the host name for the OpenSearch endpoint. This allows DNS lookups within the VPC to resolve the OpenSearch endpoint host name to the VPC endpoint. Finally, there are policies to protect the VPC endpoint and the OpenSearch Serverless resources. In order to access the private OpenSearch serverless endpoint, we will need to configure an AVA endpoint using the TCP protocol and the network interface type. To configure the AVA endpoint, we will need network information about the VPC endpoint. To get this information, we open the collection page in the OpenSearch serverless page in the AWS console. Note the VPC endpoint information. We will need the OpenSearch endpoint to invoke the API later in this video. In the VPC endpoint page, we will need the VPC that the endpoint is deployed to and the network interface ID of the endpoint. Once we have the VPC and network interface information, we can configure the AVA endpoint using that information. We choose the TCP protocol, set the VPC to the VPC of the VPC endpoint, set endpoint type to network interface, set the port to 443, which is the port to access OpenSearch serverless, and finally, set the network interface to the network interface of the VPC endpoint. After the AVA endpoint is created, we use the AVA endpoint domain name to connect to the OpenSearch serverless API endpoint. Once we have the AVA endpoint created, we can then go to our laptop and connect to the AVA instance using the connectivity client. Here I am authenticating against IAM Identity Center, the configured trust provider for this instance. Now that we're connected to the AVA instance using the connectivity client, we can use our API client, in this case Postman, to invoke the OpenSearch serverless endpoint. The OpenSearch serverless endpoint is protected by IAM, so we need to provide credentials and sign the request using AWS Signature v4. Postman supports this natively in their authorization section. Select AWS sig Signature as the type, add authorization data to the request headers, and fill in the credential information. It is best practice to use temporary credentials with AWS using tools like the AWS CLI to generate those credentials. Note that the principle represented by the credentials is the principle that you need to specify in the data access policy for the OpenSearch serverless collection. Now that the authorization section is configured, we can invoke the OpenSearch serverless endpoint. First, we get the AVA endpoint domain name and use this as the host name in the URL.
Now, when we attempt to invoke the API using the default host header, which is set by Postman to the host name and the URL, we will get a 404. The request gets sent to the OpenSearch serverless service, but it can't resolve the request to the resource because it is expecting the host name of the OpenSearch endpoint. So we need to create a custom host header and populate it with the host name of the OpenSearch endpoint. Once we do this, the request will be successful. This concludes the video on how to connect to a private Amazon OpenSearch serverless endpoint using AWS Verified Access. Thank you for your time and attention. Please contact AWS if you would like to learn more.